Midwest Highland Games, formerly known as the Scottish Festival, was held at Canterbury Village on June 29th and 30th. The Scottish American Society of Michigan partnered with the village to put on the event. In its third year, the event has evolved into a grand celebration of Scottish heritage and tradition. There were demonstrations of Highland dancing, storytelling, and activities for the kids. Guests were also invited to learn the rules and take part in a traditional game of cricket. Border Collies, known for their origins in Scotland, demonstrated their remarkable sheep herding skills. Bands entertained guests throughout the day with both traditional Scottish tunes and modern rock songs. The highlight of the event, of course, were the Highland Games, which included caber tossing and stone throwing. Well, we have it every year here at Canterbury Village. This is our, this is our third annual being involved, but there's been Scottish festivals here for well over 20 years. As you can see, we've got plenty of great stuff going on. Um, our whole goal with the Scottish American Society of Michigan is to preserve and further the Scottish culture and heritage here in Michigan and beyond. And that's what we do. We promote not only our own festivals, we try to bring all the Scots together, but we also promote other Scottish organizations, different festivals, different events, and it's all about family. It's all about kids. About once or twice a day, I'll just step back from everything and everybody and just listen to the, to the, to the sounds, the sights, the smells, and just hear the laughter. And that's, when I, hear the, when I, when I see the kids laughing, when I see the adults smiling, when I see them dancing, that's, that's it. You know, you, you know you've done something really good when, when you can see that. Athletes from across the country and even Canada competed in four main events. Although athletes typically compete professionally, here at the Highland Games at Canterbury Village, these athletes competed for the love of the games and Scottish pride. Okay, well what we have here is the amateur competition. Sometimes we do pro, but this is an amateur competition. So they do it for the love and they do it for a ribbon or a medal. The pros do it for money. And uh, it's, a, it's a tight circuit and they travel across the country, a lot through Canada, a lot in Michigan. And each one we're going to have about 10 athletes. We do about five or six events. Today we're going to do about seven events. Scottish or not, those who attended the event couldn't escape the feeling of Scottish pride. The Highland Games gave a taste of what it means to be a true Scotsman. Over the past three years, the event here at Canterbury Village has been evolving, and next year organizers promise more changes, such as more bands, dancing, and piping. But one thing never changes, and that's the preservation and celebration of Scottish heritage and tradition. Reporting from Canterbury Village, I'm Jesse Agnew with ONTV News.